feel like we should just start here. Yep, that is my magna doodle. That is going right in front of me. Because combine phase one of my triathlon is done. Um, really important, I guess. Uh, for if I want to, if I want to, that I will um, do that again in about a month, um, so I know where I'm at. But yeah, it's good fun. I might not do them all. I certainly will probably do it 5K just on a whim. Um, but we'll see how we're tracking progress. Either every month or every two months, we'll see what is going on team all right uh thanks for tuning in welcome to the channel if you've not seen me before you've got another three episodes that you should have already watched and this is an exciting one because you're learning all about what i've just done testing um yeah way more exciting i'm recording this on a, a very lazy friday afternoon not a very lazy one because i was working all the time just watched barbie yesterday that was fantastic thank you very much um went to some ugly dumplings that was fantastic Go check them out. Um, obviously, like, subscribe, comment, come say hello to me if you really want to. We're here to learn um, about coaching decisions, what I did, basically four weeks, one month of solid training. Um, you, you go see all my training logs before on those other videos um, and what you can kind of go from and to, especially from the run point of view and the swim and the bike and what's going to happen okay um so we're going to have a summary of those and i probably will have to run off two seconds because i need to show you my shoes so i'll run back and run back in we'll speed that up when we're going okay um yeah so because that's very exciting so complete rundown of today we um it's all about testing week let's be truthfully honest we'll discover what i've done what i'm going to be doing going forward um just the differences between each um thing run swim cycle then we'll look at some shoes and discuss what I'm about to do. Okay, so comparison of tests. Obviously, last week I, I talked about the tests, what I was going to do, and I said 5K, okay, normal 5K. All of my runs have been just 5K runs um, throughout the first month just to get me settled in. I know I can run 5K, might as well just keep doing it. Um, a nice quarter of the distance of what I will be running. Um, and then the swim. I've actually, I did change, but the bike I kept the same, okay? 20 minute FTP test, um, which will give me a wattage and it's give me a distance as well. So kind of, we'll get the distance because the rest, well, I don't know, distance is easier for obviously you guys who maybe are not trainers to understand, but um, I put a, a wattage kind of zone on the side as well, okay? So fun stuff. All right, let's get into this. We're already three minutes in, we haven't even told you, but you probably could have read my, my Magna Doodle already. There's a Thomas Tank engine here as well, so. Just to motivate me. Um, right. The 5K times, all right? They should be popping up on your screen. Um, so given the 5K, the two mile, the one mile, 1K, half mile, 400 meter, according to this run, okay? Obviously I've got PRs on every single one of them because I've chosen not the first run, but the first run I ever did, but the first run I ever did in my new shoes. Um, okay, they're not exactly the same route, but they're pretty comparable. Um, in terms of I was trying to run. I wasn't trying to go hell for leather, but I was certainly trying to run and I was pretty gassed. I'm not gonna put up the um, the whoop data for my run because we're just gonna see what's going on here, okay? So as you can see, my first run, um, and this is the first time I've kind of shared my times with anybody, okay? So you lucky, lucky people, okay? Um, and then we've done the split times as well, so. As you can see on, you've probably worked it out already, 5K best effort was a 24.15 as my first kind of run, my actual first run. Get really close for this. It was like 26 minutes, but I didn't have good shoes. I wasn't really, I just wanted to see where I can run. It was 35 degrees as well. Um, but yeah, we'll go for the 24.15 as the actual first run. So that one, that 5K PR, um, pretty standard miles and blah, 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 1K. The, but we were just looking at the 5K. Um, and then the splits, I guess the average K split on that one. Yeah, we're probably looking in there like 551, 555, 547, 47, 56. 
Yeah, so just hovering around the 550 mark, really. Okay, and then, whoo, whoo. Progress, 2249. All right, so I was incredibly pleased with that, okay? In terms of, what is that, a one minute, 15, 11, one minute, 26. About one and a half minutes off in four to five weeks. That is it. You, you've seen all my training. You've seen it all go through there, okay? Two miles different, um, literally like a minute there and the two mile thing, the one mile PR, 30 seconds quicker. The one K PR is 20 seconds quicker. Beautiful, 400 meters apparently is about seven seconds quicker. Um, but yeah, we're all good. So 22.49, that's my benchmark for my burst bench. I was pretty happy with, so we got 4.51 on the first one, a 4.34 kilometer average on the second. So that is one minute 31 down. I'm super happy, honestly super happy with that and you can see that i got quicker okay my my best 5k my best uh, kilometer was the last one so i'm happy with that absolutely happy with that okay i picked a route now i know exactly what route i will be running from the future um because we were going to keep running that route keep running that route so we know what we're going to have to do okay so that will be a little bit better for the next time but in terms of that obviously I'm not saying that everybody's going to improve over one month, um, but they certainly should. Not just by running, though. That's the big important thing. I think I laid that out on the podcast as well this week was the fact that probably from the run, sure, I've been doing one to two runs a week. 100%. Okay. You can see that on Strava if you want to be my friend. Um, but I'm also caveating that with I'm cycling and I'm swimming and I've got one weight session, one to two weight sessions per week as well, okay? So those things are obviously building my aerobic base as well and will have an effect on the overall score of what that one. That's the only one, sneak, that I really have comparable data from week zero to week now, okay? So from there, and then these other ones, I've just got a playoff feel and uh, actually the, and the FTP test I hadn't done for a while um, was interesting okay so super happy um, it will kind of guide what my runs are going to be now okay so um, so the the coaching decision I'm taking now is to start running for a little bit more distance and I will be doing two to three runs per week because I still think it's my weakest area and I I want that I'm setting that target I want my 5k time to be 20 minutes and below by Christmas okay so I want to lose another three minutes essentially from that 5k time and the way about doing that is I'm gonna start so I'm gonna probably have two longer runs uh, kind of a zone two zone three effort each week and then one speed run. I probably won't be running 5K as a distance for maybe two months, okay? Until I test again, probably, okay? That is gonna be the effect um, because I don't need to run that distance the whole time. And for example, two days ago, I just went and run 8K. Furthest I've run in a while, ever, probably. Um, but it was really comfortable trying to stay in zone three. But we'll cover that next week and we'll do two weeks of what I've been doing. Okay. Um, this week has been a little bit more chilled um, because I needed to come back off the testing, which I found took it out of me a little bit. Um, so I needed to ramp down slightly, recover, um, and then go through that. Okay. So. 1 minute 31, we can't complain with that, can we? Really? That's a bit quicker. Um, the shoes are making a difference. And I am <sighs> moving. Jesus. All right, um, let's go on to some, let's move swiftly, as I was, onto our swim, okay? Um, so this is the one where I changed, okay? I changed what I did. Oh. Um, have a little drink. I changed what I did because previously on the other test, I said I was going to do a 10 minute uh, kind of max distance. Obviously the variable was going to be this, like the, the distance there. So I just changed it around because considering I was going to have to have like a buzzer, obviously my whoop can buzz, but buzz on command, I'm unsure when I need to stop. And I don't really know the distance. So I'd have to get to the end anyway to work that out. So I went for distance over time. This Okay. So real simple, just stopping the, stopping the watch. Um, 
So starting it, go, stop it, boom, take off like two seconds, absolutely fine. So, and I was using, I went for 10 lengths of that pool. I believe it's 600, it's 610 meters. We're just in a cool bit. I wrote 600, it's absolutely fine. Um, in the Parliament Hill Lido, um, which is really cold. So that's nice. So no thin, fins, no light hand things, just goggles and uh, myself. So obviously I wasn't using any equipment and I wasn't using my wetsuit, okay? Which will be something that I will probably have to start to test in um, going future. Um, once I, I don't really know what the coaching decision is from there, okay? So I did my 600 meters in 11.34, as you can see on the screen. Um, so that's gonna be obviously my benchmark. Really, all I was looking for is, was I able to do 10 lamps, 600 meters without stopping um, and keeping my heart rate steady um, and not dying from breathing. I've got, so in realization, there was no parameters for me that was like, I came out of that swim and you can probably see from my heart rate, obviously I haven't even spoke about this. Okay, the, um, you can see this big block here. So I don't really know what was happening here. I think I was lifting or something like that or running and um, cycling to the event. And then I did a little warm up, okay? So I did a, a two warm up breaststroke, a four warm up front crawl, and then I went into this big block of chunk heart rate um, right here, okay? Which you can see hopefully by my highlighted thing is pretty much all zone three, cool? Which I'm absolutely, absolutely, absolutely fine with, okay? Because we should be able to hold, hold zone three for quite a few hours in theory in an aerobic zone. Um, so especially knowing that from what bike, so that is class. I'm really happy with that. And the fact that it was probably around about 150 um, beats per minute, give or take around there. So same thing's gonna happen with my runs. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do going forward. And we might do batches of 600. So maybe next week or the week after I'm, or I might just tone it down to eights. Okay, so we might be doing like um, 480. Okay, 480 meters, something like that, like that, and I'll do that three times, okay? We can give myself like half rest recovery so I can learn to basically swim for a little bit longer and get all the way up to that kind of distance. I want you know, most of my sessions to be nearer the 2K mark now um, and spend a good 45 minutes in the pool. Um, basically it. I'm gonna build that up by the end of the month and the idea is swimming at heart rate at that level, okay? I probably won't be doing any speed swims. I probably won't be doing that because I don't think it's necessary right yet. Um, and I might do that when I'm in an actual pool inside over the winter, um, okay? So 11.34, what's that? 600 meters, pretty happy. Put that out into the actual distance. I'm probably looking at around 35, which is actually three minutes quicker than what the average of my ability um, would be anyway. So I'm actually quicker than average already from the swim, um, which I knew was gonna be the case because I'm a little bit of a strong swimmer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that'll be, I think that'll be one of my more comfortable things that I'll be uh, reasonably far ahead of most of the people out of the swim, okay? Because um, if I'm able to sustain this, um, the person I was with actually lapped within that case, okay? So that was fun. All right, so coaching decision going forward, I'm gonna train at that heart rate. Um, increased distance, not looking at speed, and you can probably see what I'm actually doing most of the time through. You can see my run, I was, I'm was trying to increase distance, trying to sustain heart rate, and just do one sprint run or one fast run, and then swimming, exactly the same, I'm just gonna increase distance. So this month is really gonna be about volume most of the time, okay? And then we're gonna move on to our 20 minute cycle. Okay, heart rate here, God awful, as you can see. Um, <laughs> right into zone five, um, kind of maximal 100% stuff, um, 90 to 100%. Not fun. It's not a fun test. You can see me flatline there. I actually had to back off. Um, and if I didn't back off, I, I would have sustained the, uh, the FTP score that I wanted was to match what I did previously. So that was 285. I actually hit 275 but I had to back off for like two or three minutes, okay? Um, and come back down to like 250 watts just to spin my legs a little bit, which is all right, it's not slow, but, and then go again for the last like minute and really crank it out. But I was toast, 
did this after my, also probably if I was gonna do it again, I wouldn't do it directly after my swim test. I'd leave myself a day again, but swim recovery is a little bit better. So I was all right, okay? So I did a warm up, I did a 20 minute watt bike warm up, then I did a 20 minute test directly after. You can see that heart rate there. The 20 minute warm up did exactly what I needed it to, put some uh, thing through my legs, and then I just smashed through that, okay? 13 minutes in zone five, all of that was in that 20 minutes, okay? So obviously I, it ramped up, and then I was just pretty much there. Cool, just absolutely there. Um, so the distance covered, was a uh, yeah 12k.16 okay so 1200 well, one one thousand well, 10 uh, 12160 meters okay covered and you can see my uh my max heart rate was 210, <laughs> apparently. I don't think that said it on my whoop there though, um, but that's not gonna be the case. Um, apparently that's what my max heart rate could get to. I think I, it reached like a 191, 192 during the event. Um, and yeah, that's what we're able to go. Threshold heart rate is gonna be 173. So it was pretty much above that. It was 180 pretty much the whole time, I believe, in terms of average heart rate throughout that. Um, cool, and then a 275 wattage. So I'm gonna be using that two, the point of this was to use that as my 275 wattage so I can gather training zones and where I'm gonna be sitting into, okay? So I'm probably gonna be doing a bunch of kind of zone four, zone three work, probably the top of zone three and trying to stay there, I think for a while, okay? I think I'm gonna ramp up distance and try and do consistent distance uh, races. Um, and try and look at correlate my heart rate with my wattage, okay? Would be the idea. And it might be week on, week off. I'm unsure in what's gonna happen, okay? So I'm still gonna make that coaching decision. I might do another month of the uh, the Olympic triathlon stuff. Um, but again, I think I want, um, I'm, I'm torn whether to go towards like higher kind of cadence work and higher power work and getting some more power in there or just the ability because I'm doing some other because obviously I'm doing my swim and my run which are going to increase my zone two and aerobic base or to go down distance and stay uh, static steady state okay I'm leaning towards that just because I know it's my floor um, and that's what I'm going to have to increase over the next month essentially okay because the coaching decision should be that all right Obviously I've got new shoes, so I'm gonna run and get that now. Mark the 17th. These bad boys. Now I've accepted I'm gonna be a, uh, a coach from now on. New balance. They're on sale. Basically the reason being I needed new shoes for this massive wedge in terms of what is going on here, right? Because um, according to every single running thing, I need a, uh, a softer shoe for longer, slow recovery runs. So that is what they are for, okay? So I hope you uh, enjoyed that kind of summary of what happened in test week. Obviously you can go do it yourself, okay? Um, and if you wanna know what exactly training I did throughout the whole week, if you've got those last three videos, it's actually what I've been doing. Um, and yeah, real fun. So the next phase is gonna be about distance, controlling my heart rate some more, because that's what cardio training should be about, okay? Um, and the zone two stuff, we can go into some science and that, but basically we're trying to get that left chamber, that left ventricle pumping a little bit better with some oxygenated blood, okay? We're enabling that um, recovery to happen whilst we actually run, bike, and swim. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Buzzing, whoop's been fun. I'm definitely keeping this at the moment because all the aerobic stuff is fantastic. Um, but look out for my YouTube possibly next week or the week after on why it's so terrible for your strength training. Okay, um, obviously like, subscribe, comment, do that kind of stuff. Obviously, if you want to talk to me about coaching, um, the link's down below if you want to book in for a call. Um, and if you want to join me on my journey, um, keep watching. If, if you have any inspiration at all to come and do some triathlons or do some sport-based things, let me know. See what we can do. It's kind of it's kind of fun, isn't it, all right? Um, train for something, and if you want something to train for, I will give you it.
one go. Um, nice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by, and we will catch you in the next video.